You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. Well, there was that business with the mage. But the champion stopped that from turning into a bigger mess than it already was. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Huh. Nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. That's what you get for listening to someone named Edge. Feels like an ambush. Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there she is. Today, you die, pretty one. Be better at this. They've been doing it for ages. Interesting entrance. You have some fine moves. I do, don't I? My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the woman who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, oh, that's what Edge was on about. Don't you remember? You said your mother received some letter from an Orlesian duke. That would have been for Lord and Lady Amel. They'd expect nobility. That would be Duke Prosper de Montfort, member of the Orlesian aristocracy and a man who hosts a fine salon. Or so I hear. Let me guess, this isn't just a social call? I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. And you want us to help you? Because we never take anything that isn't ours? Well, stealing from Orlesians is never wrong. Or so I've been told. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with... less blood. I imagine if we did this, it'd be together, wouldn't it? That's the idea. Or did you have something else in mind? I like where this is going. I just think we should get to know one another. I think I'd like that. So tell me, 
What exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is. Just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. The jewel we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The heart is in a vault behind who knows what kind of traps. Protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers. All inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by monsters. And dressed as tears, Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay a wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. Good luck to you all. Ah, Mistress Hawk. Let them pass. They are here as my guests. Please excuse Kahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chastened? Here? Oh yes, you are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of his people. I know of Darkspawn too, but I generally don't let them breathe on me. No! Oh. <laughs> he breathes on all the guests. Think of it as a rite of passage. And who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. And the beauty doesn't stop there. Are all you ladies hunting? How marvelous. I must say, your presence is a surprise. The Amels were friends of my mother's, but we haven't seen your family at a hunt for ages. It's a favorite pastime of mine to find things and kill them, actually. Really? Then you will fit right in. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? I don't think I've ever encountered a wyvern before. And why would you? There are exceptional beasts, magnificent cousins to the mighty dragon. My only advice? Beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing about them, as well as the most valuable. Their poison is valuable. Indeed. From it can be brewed Aquae Lucidius, a libation adored even by the Empress herself. You'd think the Empress would be more careful about drinking poison. Her Imperial Majesty is many things, careful not being one of them. But here you are, wasting valuable time on questions. Do you wish the others to beat you to the prize? The other hunters will need the head start. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Confidence. I like it. Good luck to you, my lady. Remember, fortune favors the bold. So these are the hunting grounds. Do we need a lure? What do Wivens like? We just need to look for signs, and be careful. We get this over with, we get into the keep. And that's where the jewel is? That's where the jewel is. do we drag back to the Duke so we can get to the drinking? Do dragons and wyverns even mix? I don't think so. So if we drop part of this in the right spot, we might lure a wyvern out to protect its territory. 
Good thought. Do that. Would you tell your uncle to leave me alone? He's often inappropriate. You find something inappropriate. Extremely so. It's ugh, rather repulsive, actually. Please talk to him. But it's far more entertaining if I don't. Hawk, you have pretty eyes. Oh, you're impossible. A lot of blood. Would that be prey or from a wyvern itself? I've heard they fight for dominance. Can't be gentle. Maybe we can use some to draw out rivals. Add it to what we have already. Is it enough to draw one out of hiding? I'd say so. A little one. Probably all we need. In the right spot, no doubt. Foolish hound. Get back here. I am told weavers roost in the trees. Ah, perhaps if we shake them. And here I thought Orlesians only hunted other Orlesians for horrendous crimes against fashion. Just ignore them. Is that... Wyvern's mating? Could we mimic that? No. Oh, the sound. Right, yes. I can try that. I think we found something. The hint of the beast! After it! There is something in there. <laughs> A nest, perhaps. Ah! Yeah! Now you fall! I'll deal with this. with those ghasts cave creatures they don't come out on the surface much however well they smell like rotten eggs can i just imagine that wyverns are small completely non-poisonous bunny-like creatures not unless you picture it eating you spoil sport the sooner we get the hunt over with the sooner we'll be at the chateau to finish this has this women hunt been going on? It's an annual tradition the Mall 4 began to keep the population down. They breed quickly. And the Orlesian nobility is only too happy to help out. It's a game. The Mall 4s are so close to the Empress, so anything that pleases them is worth pursuing. Plus, you should really try the Aquai Lucidius. Oh shit. Literally. There you go, Hawk. It seems we're on the trail. Someone alert the Empress. Are you married? Performing a survey. Just wondering if there's a husband behind the throne. <laughs> Not unless I stowed the body there. <laughs> oh, oh, a, a wyvern kill. Some kind of holla or something. That could be a tunic. Don't know. Don't care. It's bait they liked for some reason. For a slaughtering ground, it's actually rather pretty. The Molfor family inherited this mountain from a clan of Navarran dragon hunters. Well, maybe inherited is the wrong word. What do you call it when you kill someone in order to get all their stuff? Adventuring. There! <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> Gas hole. See that? We should be on our guard. Ugh, well, at least we're getting closer. 
Looking for clues. Well, that's fragrant. I'll be staying upwind from now on. Ooh, nug bones. I wonder if a nug call would help attract a wyvern. You know a nug call? You go elbow deep in wyvern shit, and I'm the weird one? We must have enough to bait a trap now. In the right spot, no doubt. Wait, what happened to the birds and... everything? Uh-oh. Next time, could we hunt something small and cuddly? Maybe vegetarian? Yes, I think this would be the place to find a wyvern. And room enough to kill the thing without getting sat on. They're not stupid, though. We'll need some really good bait. Lay it all out. I'm bringing the Duke a trophy to talk about. Yes! I mean, if you're sure. Let's get to it. We have a lot of stuff to lay out, for starters. Right, now the blood. What? The prey needs to be moving, doesn't it? Okay, I'll do the sound. You get ready. Don't look at me while I do this. Was that good? You want to do it? Didn't think so. The Ferelden Turnip. I don't know how you came to rub shoulders with your betters, but enough is quite enough. I suggest you run along with your servants while you have the chance. This wyvern was mine to kill, not yours. Mine! 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 I paid good coin to be the one who wins this contest. It was my turn! Oh, I didn't realize the Duke was offering charity to his more useless guests. My mistake. I will not accept such talk from a backwater mongrel. You do realize this woman has nasty little thugs like you for breakfast, I hope. Only when we're out of pancakes. More insolence from a knife ear this time. I can't take no more of this. Kill them all! You can say the Wyvern was too much for them. Get back! Go down! Now, what is going on here? Prosper! This blasted she bitch tried to steal my rightful kill! Now, is that any way to speak of our Theraldon guest, Baron? This is your fault for inviting a stinking turnip in the first place. Your mother would be ashamed. <laughs> Says the man whose mother has slept with half of Valchevin. My apologies. Arlange has always been a cheat. What would you have done with him? You're not suggesting... Why not? You believe Arlange would have stopped short of murder, given the chance? Just let him go. He's not worth your time, Hawk. <laughs> My word, such mercy. His blood smells worse than the Wyverns. Best keep it where it is. You hear that, Arlange? It behooves you to leave while you still can. I... Fine. I will go. Congratulations on finding the Wyvern. 
It looks like a fine one indeed. There will be a celebration in the Chateau Courtyard. Do attend when you're ready. Letting go? That was very merciful. That talk, merciful. We should go to the chateau. Time to practice your table conversation. And my own legion accent. I had a quick look around. There's one door into the castle that isn't under heavy guard. But there's a problem, right? There's always a problem. I can't get it open. And believe me, I tried. Bent a nice set of lockpicks in that stupid door. One of the Duke's guardsmen must have the key. They wouldn't just lock themselves out of the castle. I hope. Why else would the party be in the garden? He probably has someone breaking a window right now. I could make that work, actually. But in the meantime, let's find someone with a key. We shouldn't all go together. These snooty nobles will make a scene. Talus and I will look for the key. In the meantime, scout out the castle for another way in. Let's see what we can find out. Come on. Your Grace, this is the event of the season. <laughs> you have truly outdone yourself this time, Prosper. Ah, at last our mighty heroine. Lady Hawk of Kirkwall has slain the first Wyvern. The honors of the day go to her. To hunt the Wyvern on its own ground is to tempt fate. A terrible risk. But the prize. I present to you this belt crafted of fine Wyvern skin. Wear it well and accept the accolades your due. If anyone wants to lord my heroic achievements, I'm happy to listen. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Do not mind, Leopold. My pet is always so temperamental before dinner. I don't suppose Leopold knows how to fetch or play dead. Alas, <laughs> he seems to think it's our duty to amuse him. My friends, I officially welcome you all to Chateau Hay. Enjoy a taste of Orlesian hospitality. The hunt was exciting, wasn't it? I didn't have the pleasure of seeing much, but I heard it was quite the event. You sound Ferelden. It's good to see another countryman here. There's Perrin, but he's... peculiar. Who is this woman, Tigan? I'm very sorry, but I didn't get your name. Hawk. Hawk. Tigan, I must speak with you right now about the horrible thing Dulcie de Lancé said. I... Of course. Please, excuse me, Monsieur Hawk. A pleasure to meet you. If you speak to Ban Perrin, I don't advise you to bring up the Chantry or Knickers. Sarah Hawk, it's good to see you again. Seneschal, dear, introduce me to your delicious friend. Serendipity, this is Sarah Hawk. Awkward. So, can we talk about something else now? The canapes are interesting, aren't they? And everyone here is so... upper class. What an astute observation. We should get moving. Lots of people to greet. It was a pleasure meeting everyone. Don't be a stranger. Welcome. Are you enjoying the Duke's party? This is supposed to be the social event of the whole year, you know. I... Uh, Talis? Liliana, it's so lovely to see you again. You look stunning this evening. Your hair is darling. Did you do it yourself? I get the distinct impression you've met before. Oh, briefly. A long time ago. You meet all sorts of people in Orle. It keeps life exciting. I get the feeling there's some trouble here. No, no trouble at all. Everything is fine, Hawk. Why would you think otherwise? We shouldn't take up more of your time, Liliana. I'm sure you have things that need attention. Right now. Aren't you Leandra Amel's daughter? I heard you were living with your uncle. 
How is your dear mother? She killed a man in Darktown just to watch him die. Every woman's got to have a hobby. How very Ferelden. Such a pity Leandre fell in among such low society. Do send her my regards. Can I help you? I've been stung by a bee. I think it's swelling. Maker, am I dying? The swelling is almost as big as your head. Don't just stand there, man. Do something before it's too late. If I die, make sure the world knows. I died at Chateau Hain. I cannot help you, madame. I'm afraid I don't have the key to the chateau. Is something the matter? Uh, my friend here has had a bit too much wine. She needs to sit down inside before she gets sick on a duchess. Oh, oh, I can hear the ocean in my head. Tide goes in, tide go... Ow. That's never a good sign. My apologies, but I couldn't let you in, even if I wished to. Pardon me, Sir Guard, but could we have a moment of your time? Anything for the Duke's honored guests. I've just encountered some Ferelden band wearing the same outfit as me. I need to change immediately. Her ladyship cannot be seen like this. It would be an insult to two nations. There could be riots, wars! A matter of social life or death. Get me into the castle now. Of course, madame. Since this is clearly so important, I will see what can be done. Perfect. Just let me have a minute alone with him, and the key will be ours. <laughs> My, what a big sword you have. Do they give those to all the Chevaliers? So impressive. Lovely party. Well, he doesn't have it. What? He forgot he'd given the key to one of the servants. What kind of guard forgets that he's locked himself out of the castle? We'll go out there and mingle until we find a way in. Or get so full of caviar and wine we fall asleep. Right. Nothing to worry about. This can still work. Can I interest you in some Antivan olives? Or I have some smoked am from the Andrefels. They say it tastes of despair. Wait, does it really? How can ham taste like despair? Why would anyone eat it if it did? That's what the importer said. They all talk like that. This wine has notes of oak and springtime. This cheese tastes of sorrow. Who needs more despair in their diet? What is that good for? I've heard that artists are fond of it. I don't suppose we could have a peek at the kitchens. I'd love to see this hopeless dish in all its glory. I don't know. I, I shouldn't leave my post. What a scandalous reprieve from olive duty. Think of what the other servants will say. The upstairs maids will be so jealous when they find out. Very well. Follow me. I know, right? They treat you like part of the furniture. I'm surprised they don't get on it. Avoid the cheese plate. Terrible. Have you got the key? I'm usually better at this. She didn't have the key either. Uh, this isn't supposed to be so complicated. Maybe we could steal dessert spoons and start tunneling under the wall. That's not terrible. Hang on to that idea. The servant says she gave it to the Duke's son, Lord Cyril. Let's find him and hope he didn't pass it on to his father. I don't believe we have been introduced. Lady Amel, is it not? It's Hawk, actually. Oh, of course. I beg your pardon, Lady Hawk. You sound Ferelden. I thought you were a marcher. Please, take this caprice as a token of my sincere apology. It's our legion custom. Cast it into the fountain here, and uh, you might get a wish. Where are your knickers this time, Perrin? <laughs> Shut up, you painted shrew! 
What entertaining manners our guests have. <laughs> Don't you agree, Hawk? Talis here has a message for you, Lord Cyril. It seems to be urgent. This should only take a moment, my friends. Enjoy the party in my absence. No, I don't have the cheese tray. You're mistaking me for... I was hoping we could just... Fine, I'll put that in the trash. That wyvern blood has some kick, doesn't it? This is officially my worst night ever. Not Lord Cyril's type. Maybe he just doesn't like elves. Or... women. Well... You've got one of those factors covered. He has the key. Go get it. What? It's your turn, Hawk. Go on. Seems like I could save time and just assume a plan will fall apart from the start. It hasn't fallen apart. It's just, uh, not entirely cooperating with reality. Just... Go try something. Tell the elf that her pleas are for nothing. She's pretty enough, I suppose. No doubt there are some men who would like that sort of thing. I thought you might be a man of refined tastes. I have a great appreciation for beauty. I just want something with me. Like you say, this. Why don't we talk again after the party? You have it. Tell me you have it. Was there ever any doubt? Good. Then we can find the... jewel and get this over with. And here I thought we were getting along so well. I can't imagine anyone I would rather attend an Orlesian party with, even if you are human. Let's find that door and get inside. What in the name? There's no need for you to die today, friend. Just move on. You never saw us. <laughs> You could have walked away. Of course he didn't walk away. That'd be a bad trait in a guard. I know that. It's not like his family can say, we thought he only had to bake cookies. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? <laughs> Too soft or too lumpy. Nothing is ever just right with her. What a bitch. <laughs> Try the cheese, did you? Are you joking? It tastes of despair. I'm not a madman. You dropped the pie. I'm sorry, monsieur. 
It's all squashed while the hounds took a bite of it. It's really not that bad. Just put it back on the plate and cover it up with some gravy. <laughs> Something wrong? I don't know. Yes. Don't fret, my dear. I see the party's moved indoors. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I thought we were here to steal a jewel. <laughs> then she didn't tell you. The elf is a... Cunari. Your... Cunari? It's... complicated. Everyone's got to have a job, don't they? My! She chose you well, didn't she? Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the hearts arrive home? Don't be foolish. Asse hasatra mas. Mas avas trasokolon. Take them away. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. I have a question. When the Duke told you what I was, you said you didn't care. Was that true? I would have said he couldn't compare to your awesomeness, but that might have seemed petty. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the Heart of the Many. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. You mentioned the Heart of the Many before, but you said it was the name of the Jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers, that keep the Kinari in line, but that's not it. It's... hard to explain. Try. We're... The soul of the Kuhn. We keep its spirit alive and protect it from both outside and from within. Not every Kinari agrees, nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasris remind us of our common goal. You make them seem almost peaceful. It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. The way you're talking, it sounds like you're one of these Ben Hasraf. I am. Or, I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb. She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. So everything you told me was a lie? Not everything. So I simply missed the part where you're Kunari. You don't need horns to embrace the Kune. What you need is a purpose, a belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. You're right. I can think of many people who would be improved by the loss of a head. You're joking, but you're also right. 
That doesn't mean it's the solution for everyone. So everyone else just loses a foot? Maybe a big toe? Being Kunari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kunari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. Wait, aren't you here to kill someone for the Kunari? I never said I was killing him for the Kunari. So you're improving his lodge? Perhaps repeatedly? <sighs> I know it's hard to understand. Our way of thinking must seem so alien. But just tell me, can you honestly say there's nothing to improve? Nothing to strive for? We believe in striving together. We may stumble, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. It's who I am. I joined the Ben Hasras because I felt it meant something. M means something. You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone about it. I suppose it's not really a prison cell conversation. So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Monfort family. And you're also Ferelden with no reason to love or lay, and incredibly competent, so I hear. And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you, we go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing? Truth? You're... not exactly what I was expecting. Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you, given you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. I assume you have some sort of plan. I always have a plan. A good one? Oh, ye of little faith. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? We didn't come here alone, remember? What are we going to do? We'd ask my sister where to go. <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. There you are. What happened? Why don't we get out of here? So, back through the castle, then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. Well, we found all your gear, at least. Then we should head for the caves. That's the way out I planned to take us through, originally. So we're going to keep following her. Wonderful. See? Caves. Just like I said. A dark, musty cavern. Wow, you sure know where all the good parties are. How did you know about this? I stole old plans from the Fourth Blight. This was a retreat, they called it. At any rate, there's an exit that leads out onto the mountainside. That's your way out. That little pest scuffed my boots. Now we know where the ghasts came from. We'll have to fight through them. At least they'll slow down the Duke's men as well. who know how to break a mage. The Duke is a fool. His enemies are posturing guileless lot, but you are worth testing. Prosper can fight his own battles, and I shall choose mine. <laughs> Too. 
You didn't think I was leaving, did you? Oh, that was bracing. I thought you'd left. Nonsense. I found a way around. I said I'd get you out of here, and I meant it. Let's keep going. The exit can't be much further. And there's the way out. See? I told you I had a plan. It was a good plan. The kind that had an escape and everything. Not a monster lair. That is a good sign. So you could go. There are, however, other options. Coming on a bit strong there, Talus. We've only just met. But we've been through so much together. Wyvern hunts, betrayals, daring escapes from prison. You're right. I'm feeling so close to you right now. <laughs> so, it's true what they say about you. You've been so reasonable since we were captured. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. What Salit is going to do will harm so many innocents. My people, as well as yours. It's my duty to stop him. Even so, I can't do it alone. Not anymore. You don't actually think you can finish your mission? Alone? Probably not. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Some things are worth dying for. Explain what's so terrible about Salit's plan. I... can't. Not completely. And yes, I know. That's a hard sell. The information Salit plans to turn over to Orle won't just hurt Kinari, however. It will harm anyone living in Kinari lands. Even those who fled the Kinari of any race will be condemned to persecution forever. So this isn't just some political scheme. If only it was. I'm not here on some directive from the Kuhn. I came... Salit was declared Talvishoth, but they didn't deem intervention worthwhile. I... couldn't agree. I had to try. Doesn't that make you Talvishoth as well? No. The Ben Hasrath didn't order me not to do this, but here I am anyway. <laughs> I was trying to earn my way back into their good graces. This probably won't help. Why? What did you do? It's not easy being an elf in the Kune. You're not born to it like they are. I've struggled to find that peace, that certainty. I know it's there. I just keep falling short. Maybe you should take that as a sign? I used to be like you. I told myself if I never cared about anyone or anything, I could never be hurt. Life would be fun. But it wasn't. There was a hole inside me. Nothing I did ever filled it. Oh, that's too easy. Not everything should be easy. Don't you wonder what it would be like? A life with meaning? With purpose? No, I... Never. Lucky you. What about you? Have you ever been a part of something bigger than just yourself? Big things have tried to eat me. Does that count? The Kunari have a vision of what life should be like. Free from pain and fear and doubt. You see tyranny and I see caring and interest in the welfare of all. Yes, it could be better. But so could human indifference and cruelty. Or, do you disagree? This probably isn't the place for a debate. True. Does that mean you'll help me? After everything you've already done, why would I help you again? Because... I've got your nose. The Kuhn taught you that? If I were following the Kuhn, I would actually have your nose. I suppose that doesn't help. If I had my way... You would never have been this involved in the first place. I see your side. What now? That's up to you. I couldn't force you to help, even if I wanted to. I get the feeling you're an exceptional person, Hawk. Here's your chance to prove it. I knew you were a worthless traitor. The moment I laid eyes on you. 
Baron Arlange. So nice to see you again. You filthy turnip! You humiliated me! He was persistent. I'll give him that much. Let's get this over with, Canary, before your assassins find us. Already I regret agreeing to spare them. I have chosen my path. That choice should not... Marshera! I am here to facilitate your deal with the Empress. Nothing more. Your Grace. It's a list of names. What is the meaning of this? You asked for a weapon. I am providing it. We expected the formula for black powder, dreadnought plants, a map of Kunandar, anything. This. This is useless. Your Grace. Ah. The Ferelden. You just keep turning up. I have an excellent sense of dramatic timing. And good hair. Joke while you can. You will not find it funny for long. <laughs> Tell us. I said I would stop you, Salit. And I said I would slay you if you tried. If anyone is to do any slaying, it will be me. begging for mercy, but that's just me. You filthy oh. Thank you for the lovely party. I'll treasure the belt. You see that? He bounced. Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. Atash Varin Kata. 
If the Duke only knew what he nearly had in his grasp. Thank you. There's no way I could have done this without your help. What is the scroll? This is a list of agents throughout Thetis. Kinari, like myself. Many of them have children, family, friends. They're people you wouldn't suspect. Some have even left a Kuhn behind. But if this list fell into human hands, they and everyone they know would be killed. The Arakun believes they knew the risks. But what about the innocents? I... I couldn't let this happen. That's what you do for a friend. A friend? Is that what I am? And deadly. And delightful. And beautiful. Funny. I was just about to say the same thing to you. Yes, I see. I'll bet you do. Thanks for that, sis. Oh, before I forget, that was going to be the heart of the many. You'd find a jewel while I'd go off and find Salit and be back before anyone was the wiser. I suppose nothing ever goes like we plan, does it? Take care of yourself, Hawk. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Let me guess. You haven't seen Talis since that day. A safe assumption, given her nature. And who is left to appease or lay after a duke's murder at the hands of the champion of Kirkwall? Prosper invited it by dealing with Talvashoth, possibly under orders from Empress Selene. Imagine the scandal if that was known. <laughs> if you believe a Kunari agent. Well, that's the difficult part, isn't it? I don't know why Hawk helped Talus. I suppose the elf did have her nose. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I doubt it's the last we've seen of her. But what do I know? I just tell stories. <laughs>